Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Canvas student training, The Basics. Uh, let's get started. To log into Canvas, you can go to your school's website. This is Menlo Atherton's, mabears.org, and you can click on Canvas. You can also do this at seq.org, and it will be the similar icon. If you click on Canvas, you'll discover you, it asks for your login. This login is going to be the same as your student ID. It's not your student ID with at seq.org behind it. Your password, if you haven't changed it or have never changed it or never gotten it, will be your first initial, last initial, and your six-digit birthday. So if I was born on February 8th, 1984, mine would be 020984, plus my first and my last initial. So like AA020884. Um, that will land you on the Canvas dashboard. Now, there's lots you can do here, but the one that I'm sure you want to know is your grades for all your classes. Uh, on the lower right-hand corner, there's a little button that says View Grades. When I click on View Grades, it takes me to a list of how I'm doing in all my classes. Um, what you can do here is you can get your percentages, you can figure out your percentages by your grade, and I can click on a course here to see that I'm not doing so well in Spanish, so I want to see what's going on. If I click on Spanish, it takes me to my grades here, and I find out that, oh, I'm missing a test, right? Sometimes the test will give an explanation, sometimes it won't. Every course and every teacher will provide you a different experience in Canvas. Some teachers will be doing online quizzes, some teachers will be using on uh, just posting assignments and grades other teachers will be asking for discussions um, it's going to depend on your teacher and depend on your course back to the dashboard and when i click on the dashboard i can adjust my colors or my class name so if i don't want to have this whole class code here if i just want to call it stat i can click on this little triple button and call it stats i can also then change the color to whatever I like. This color changes just for you. Your teacher doesn't know that you're calling it stats or whatever it is that you're going to be calling it unless you happen to show them your accounts. Other things on the dashboard is you have a to-do list here. If, for example, you know you turn something in and you don't need that, you can just hit X and that will go away. Or you can click on it, and I'm not going to click on this quiz here, but I can click on that quiz and take that quiz. Um, it also gives me a heads up, and I can go to my calendar, which I'll show you in a, in a moment. One other place you might want to um, adjust is your account settings and get different notifications from Canvas. So if I click on my account, and I can click on settings, I could add my cell phone here so that Canvas can give me alerts and notifications via text message. So if I click on contact meth method, excuse me, I can choose my device, I can choose my, give them my cell phone number, right, and I can register it. They'll give me a, a confirmation code and I have to say yes. After going to settings and setting up my cell phone, I can then go to notifications. Under notifications, I can choose how I want to be notified for certain things. I don't recommend getting notified instantaneously every time there's a grade. Um, that might make you a little crazy. I'd get a weekly or daily update. If I had a cell phone, it would come up in this row right here. And I can say how I want to be added, noted by that. Discussions, you can probably turn off unless you want to be notified when you're added to a discussion. Conversations are um, what Canvas considers email through Canvas, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, once it's all set up, at the bottom you hit save and um, you're good to go. Going back to my dashboard, um, so whatever I set up, I'll get notifications on my to-dos or my assignments or any other changes that happen to Canvas that I, I wish to be notified about. If I go down to my calendar, there's three ways to view your calendar. I can look at it um, as an agenda, which will give me my most urgent assignments first. I can look at it as a week-long and kind of plan around, 
or I can look at it as a month long. Now I've already turned off some classes, but I can re-engage them by clicking them back on or turning them off. The inbox or where teachers will contact you is right below. And some teachers are going to want to contact you through Canvas. Your teachers should let you know that. Other teachers are going to prefer that you go through their SEQ email. So first initial last name teachers will go through SEQ email, or they might say, pay attention to your Canvas inbox. Here's where you go. You could also write your teachers here. Again, every teacher will have a different preference and a different experience. Lastly, let's look at a course through our dashboard. So if I have my dashboard here, I can look at the, the details of each course. Again, each course will be different. But if I go to my Spanish course here, in my Spanish course, I'll see I have a welcome page. She's posted the syllabus. And then I can look at my assignments and grades. So I can dive down deeper and see exactly what's going on in my Spanish class and how it gets broken down and where I need to focus on my work. I could quickly switch between my Spanish class and my other courses right here if I wanted to see how I was doing in English. Now this will take me off of the English the Spanish course and bring me into my English course. And again, I can see how well I'm doing here and where my strengths and weaknesses are. I could also just check my assignments for that course, which also gives me the upcoming events and past assignments if I need something for a reference. Every column here for the course is going to be slightly different depending on what the teacher chooses. Like if you notice here, there's no online quizzes, but at Spanish there was. And that's about it for Canvas. We'll talk later about how to do online submissions, posting discussions, and submitting work through Canvas. But for now, that's how you explore your grades and communicate with your teachers. Thank you.